You know they eat babies. That is not bullshit. It's true. So it's not just the dogs and the cats, not just the pets. It's not just the dogs and the cats. They're full on vampires. And everybody still thinks I'm crazy, but I'm not crazy. They're full on vampires. They love the taste of human flesh and they drink human blood. They do, Tucker. Stop staring at me like that. You're freaking me out, man. Because they you do. spent your life in the entertainment business, so I think you have some authority on this. So many kids that I was in mental institutions with over the years, they are all from those cults. And they've covered it all up. They cover it all up. And, uh, you know, I just pray to God. Tucker Carlson has been going around the country. He's been doing lectures for people, talks, if you will. And he's bringing out a bunch of goons with him. He's brought out a bunch of folks. Most recently, if you could believe it, Gavin, he's trotted out Roseanne Barr. LOL, shout out to you, Joel Roberts. <laughs> <laughs> um, but this is crazy. So, <laughs> so Roseanne Barr is not one to be one-upped by Donald Trump, right? She can't be the second craziest person oh, in God. the room. Uh, so she comes out uh, with this delivery, Gavin. I'm not even going to reveal to you what it is. We're just going to play this uh, one-minute clip uh, and let everybody uh, in indulge for a second. Yeah, let's take a look at this. Tucker recently was in Kansas City, I think, with Laura. It was Ingr with Megyn, Megyn Kelly. Kelly. Yeah, Megyn and Kelly. And sold out the T-Mobile Center, dude. Yep. It was crazy. Yeah, I, I do I do think it's funny, though. Like, he, he's, he has these guests on the tour, right? I think Russell Brand was trotted out. I, we reacted to that, right? Because they did the, the goofy-ass prayer. Oh, um, yes. He had but, Russell Brand at one of them, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I have to imagine that whoever, you know, whatever city they're in, from this clip whoever lives in that city was like are you kidding me we get roseanne bar <laughs> like the other city's got like you know russell brand or uh you know megan kelly and then it's like oh we have to listen to this crazy bitch roseanne bar <laughs> this drugged out it, i really think it's irresponsible to even like bring roseanne bar in public and let her speak she needs like a like a conservatorship whatever like britney spears had you know what i'm talking about ah! she's yeah. crazy bro she's on drugs her brain is melted she is not okay well let's hear from her let's see if she can win you over gavin she's she was spitting here this is from pepe lives matter uh, i'm sure a reputable source for information you know they eat babies that is not bullshit it's true so it's not just the dogs and the cats not just the pets it's not just the dogs and the cats they're full-on vampires and everybody still thinks I'm crazy, but I'm not crazy. No, of course you're not crazy, Roseanne. <laughs> They're full on that, yeah. vampires. They love the taste of human flesh and they drink human blood. I thought, isn't they this the... Isn't this the anti, like the anti-Semitic conspiracy theory? I think she's getting her, like, you know, racist conspiracies mixed up. Who the f*** says Haitian people are eating human flesh that's the anti-semitic shit like oh the you know george soros is drinking the blood of children or whatever right oh yeah dude it's just anything that they've got <laughs> now and, and what you can tell is that she's been watching alex jones right the lizard people you know oh well don't know when i and she thinks she's got she's got a lane so uh, for people who didn't follow this i believe it was last week alex jones was forced to liquidate his assets for Infowars. i right? keep i never know if i should take that shit seriously because i feel like i'm always hearing Infowars is going down Infowars is going down and then it's always still there at the end of the day yeah you think it's really going down who knows i don't think roseanne <laughs> knows but i think she sees a land for herself and she's like lizard people blood suckers they're gonna take alex out i got a lane i'm gonna get back on here i am with tucker and i'm gonna come out here they're eating not just dogs they're eating babies they are <laughs> they're sucking human blood they think i'm crazy who knows why yeah, it's like I'm pretty sure if that actually was happening, you know, there definitely would be some verification of it. It's one thing to say like, "Oh, trust me, I, I swear to God, this Haitian dude took my cat." I swear to God, but I'm pretty sure if babies were getting their blood sucked by Haitian immigrants, I'm pretty sure we'd have some reporting on it. I'm pretty sure you know there would be a little bit of evidence floating around out there. I also wanted to play this quick Roseanne clip from the other day. You reminded me of this. Um, this one's absolutely hilarious, Roseanne demonstrating gun safety uh, 
with her new Donald Trump pistol. I got to get one of these myself. Why don't you show everybody? Because this is really cool. Look, I show everybody who comes to my house, but I'm going to show you. It's a gun. <gasps> and um, it's signed by President Trump right here. That's Donald Trump. And it's, oh, it's a, a really cool face. gun. And look at it. Uh, <laughs> what do you call it, Jake? Where it's etched in there, Donald Trump's face and all. It's like laser printed. This laser printed. Good. And it, it says, good. never surrender. Take America back. And ain't that cool? It cost me a pretty penny, but show them the mug shot. Oh yeah, that's the mug shot. There you go. And, Point it uh, right at know, her. Presidential. What the there. They gotta get the and I'm in <laughs> Texas, and um, this means a lot to me. That's where I bid a ton of dough on it. But I thought you might all enjoy seeing that, and, and that I'm is true. It. Trump 2024. And we are never going to surrender. We're never going to be weak. We're going to go the extra mile, do what we have to do. And with God's help, we're going to win. And it's all on you. Thank you so much for hearing me and having me here today. Boy. And then we've got one more from <laughs> RFK. The caption is nobody. Absolutely nobody. RFK. Teens today have 50% of the sperm count, 50% of the testosterone as teens. American teens two generations ago. Uh, I I have personally investigated this phenomenon. I participated in many a Hollywood gangbang, and let me tell you what: people aren't shooting ropes like they used to. I, I I I I hang out with a lot of children. I mean, compared to him, no, you were probably right. No one is uh, shooting. And, and, and these kids, they all just they just know eat hot chip, masturbate, and lie. They don't know how to get down and dirty like we did back in the day. Make right America now. come so, again. Uh, and that's what I'm about. Maca, uh -huh. Maca, <laughs> make America horny again. Am I right, everybody? That's the Kennedy promise. <laughs> Nobody knows about vlogging like we do <laughs> as Kennedys. <laughs> All right, Kennedys for the children. Take off your pants and jacket. <laughs> yup, yup, and and I feel you, bro. Uh, you know, it, it is. That's why I was saying that Roseanne is not well. She's not okay. Like th this is what you just saw. That's not the real Roseanne. It's the result of addiction and mental health issues I'm, I'm being serious it is funny to laugh at her but like if you actually compare you know modern day roseanne content from like even 10 years ago it's really clear that she's unwell and i do think it's pretty disgusting that people like tucker carlson and alex jones will trot her out there to say deranged insane stuff uh to you know appeal to the other lead poisoned crazy people in their audience um, and I don't think she was ever this mental, bro. I know that she's always been like edgy and kind of weird, like a weirdo. Uh, but it, it is, uh, it's definitely way worse. It's way, way worse.